Anyway, happy Friday, everybody. Listen, now, before I get to this Justice League, uh, you know, uh, this Justice League uh, thing, you know, I, I got some business. I got, you know, I kind of want to get out of the way here first. Uh, first, I think we, we really need to go over escape. Ah, it's not going to work, is it? You can't see it. Total fail. Ah, you can't see it. I did not anticipate that. Damn it. All right. Well, whatever. But let's talk about it, okay? It's a scapegoat. <laughs> a scapegoat, a scapegoat. Party time. Excellent. <laughs> anyway, let me tell you the story, and then you all can decide for yourself. We're in the comment section of one of the topics in the group, and it's not really, really, really important what we talk about, but, then, you know, Jacob Fudge, Fudge says this and this, and then... Ghosty decides to say, well, yes, because they're using it as an escape goat. An escape goat, meaning a scapegoat. Like, you know, a scapegoat. Not scapegoat, but an escape goat. <laughs> so I just thought I'd bring that up because there's only a couple of different possibilities here. Either A, his original story. Now, he's, he's claiming that the use of the phrase escape goat is uh, because he read it someplace else by another DCU fan that used that f exact phrase. So that's one of the possibilities of what's going on here, or it's two, which is the one that I'm, I'm most in favor of, is he actually used a scapegoat by mistake. And this is giving him the benefit of the doubt, uh, thinking that, uh, you know, it's not the third possibility, which is pretty much the worst possibility out there, uh, is that he used it by mistake and then kind of backtracked to kind of correct himself, which in case, you know, you should have just edited your post maybe, or put some kind of disclaimer in there beforehand. The third possibility is that he actually thought that the phrase was a scapegoat all along, which I really don't think that's what it is, but you guys can decide for yourself. Um, so I just wanted to start that debate amongst our TDA members as to what do you think this was, not to mention the fact that this is a perfect opportunity to try to hammer this joke as much as we can into the freaking ground. I can't believe my stupid iPad doesn't work. I had a perfect picture of the, the escape goat. I was going to show it to you all, but it turns out it's a bl the bl bl you're blinded by the light. You're blinded by the light. Blinded by the light. Can't see it. It's such a fail. It's a fail on my part. Oh, you almost saw it. <laughs> Almost suck. Come on. Show me the escape goat. Show it to me. Show me the... Yeah, that's right. I also used it as my... Uh, uh, can I get it on an angle, maybe? Let me see if I can get an angle shot of the escape goat. No, it's not. It's a fail. It's a fail. All right. I admit it. It's a fail on my part. Damn it. I really wanted that to work. But whatever. It didn't work. So anyway, I'm here to talk about Justice League. Um, listen, I mean... I, I don't know what to say about this movie just because, you know, all up, and, and you know, here's the here's the thing, too, and I'm going to start this off with this whole expectations game, okay? Because the expectations game probably gets played in these movies, just like politicians, like, when, you know, they're about to debate something, like, get the leak out to the press that uh, this guy's not a very good debater that way if the guy shows up to the debate and he sounds like, you know, a, a relatively decent debater he comes off as great because it was already leaked that this guy was not a good debater i know this is a long way of saying it but this is how i feel about rotten tomatoes okay <laughs> right i feel like you know the execs knew that this was not the greatest this wasn't going to be a slam dunk home run as good as the avengers kind of movie so they Got just they just said just call everybody you know and get them on retweet to drop this score down low 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 <laughs> so that when people go into the movie they'll be like I don't know what the hell they were talking about that didn't deserve a thirty eight percent on on Rotten Tomatoes what the hell are they? no this is a pretty good movie well, not, not. you know they almost come out defending it <laughs> but who knows how the movie really really did because if the you know if you had never lowered your ex expectations to begin with and just gone in thinking maybe this will be as good as Avengers <laughs> you know what I mean that's all I'm saying but I I enjoyed myself because actually I fell victim to it I fell victim to the uh, 
you know, the lowering of the the Rotten Tomatoes score. I saw how low it was, and then when I walked out of the movie, I was like, no, nah, that wasn't that bad. That was pretty enjoyable, actually. And it was enjoyable. There were there were scenes in there that were that were for us. You know, there there were scenes in there for that were for us. But you can obviously see where you know the DCEU is has rushed this product out to us, and uh, we'll get to what's wrong with the DCEU later in the later in the whatever the whatever this is this week's bullshit blah blah blah. See, I don't even know what it's. Like. Should have should have disclaimed the fact that I have a headache and it's been nagging me. And I, so I'm doing this video anyway, even against the fact that I didn't feel like doing this video because I had like up <clears throat> up until like an hour ago I was just like this headache was just gnawing at me. But um, <clears throat> whatever, I'm gonna rifle through this anyway. So if I don't, if I'm jumping all over the place and it doesn't seem it, you know what? I, I I'm gonna, I'm gonna escape goat, escape goat, escape goat, party time, excellent. And we're gonna change your name to Escape Ghost. <laughs> See what I did there? But uh, <laughs> every once in a while, when I start, when, when I'm gonna start blaming stuff on things, I might just break out into Escape Goat Wayne's World song. But anyway, uh, I gotta do something to make up for the fact that I can't show you that awesome scapegoat just google it you'll find some funny pictures of the scapegoats <laughs> scapegoat the best was like you know lewis just kind of said it all matter of fact like yeah hey, they're gonna use that as an scapegoat you know there wasn't any disclaimer before or behind that saying you know i you know by the way this is what the dceu fanboys are saying you know so uh, you know whatever there was no disclaimer so it, it it's suspect that he actually just said that shit and then tried to backtrack that's all i'm saying <laughs> the scapegoat but anyway <laughs> i did find it all right the justice league for the most part this is a very very character driven movie the foe was there but the focus of the movie was definitely on the characters and they definitely used this movie to try to build the characters of pretty much the entire team except for batman superman and uh you know <laughs> You know, basically, they tried to use this to build all the characters of the of the people that weren't in previous films. Okay, uh, my surprise was Ezra better than Ezra was uh, was uh, was better than uh, I expected. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, that's all I can say about that. Uh, there was a one scene that they showed inside the uh, the uh, inside inside the trailer. <laughs> and they showed in the trailer this one scene where he said he just pushes people and then runs away and all that other stuff like that. I thought that that was going to wind up being a, a joke, and in the trailer, I was like, that's not very funny of a joke, but it actually wasn't, you know? In the context of the movie, it it seemed like it was just the situation that he was in, and it worked a hell of a lot better in the movie than, you know, it did in trailers, which is, go figure that one out. Um, uh, FYI, they took out uh, Steppenwolf's big speech, just so you know. Um, it's not a spoiler, it's just like, don't look for it, because it's not going to fucking be there. But uh, that was kind of my problem with Steppenwolf in general is that he was there. He was definitely there, but uh, um, you could tell, you know, this was not going to be, um, this was not going to be the focus of the movie. They weren't going to spend a god-awful amount of time <coughs> building the character of Steppenwolf himself. They just kind of spelled out what he is, what he does, and just, you know, whatever, we got to stop him. But um, my other pleasant surprise was Cyborg, and I think the reason that I like Cyborg uh, so much in this film is because I've always kind of deplored the character Cyborg itself in the comics, so it was kind of surprising to me that I actually liked him. I didn't mind him at all in this movie. I thought he was all right. Um, Momoa, you know, okay. You know what I mean? Okay. You know, nobody, nobody did anything to say, okay, these guys aren't Justice League characters that I can tolerate for another installment of this if they decide to do so, which it looks like they might. But, you know, who knows? Who knows with this fucking company? I swear to God, they have their heads so far up their asses. They don't know what movie they're going to make next week. They keep on waiting to see, well, how much money did this one make? Well, okay, it made a decent amount of money. I guess we should, uh, maybe we should keep going then. God forbid they have a fucking plan. Um... <laughs> But anyway, uh, so my mom was all right. I always, I always loved Gal. It was great to see her in the movie again. I think probably the reason I pushed my score up to a seven is because I enjoyed Wonder Woman so much in her, her solo outing that seeing her again in a film was great for me. I know a lot of people don't like her, and that's fine. You guys do what you got to do. Uh, 
uh, spoiler alert, I guess at this point, Cavill um, wasn't as much as a cardboard cutout in this film as he was in BVS. So that's a plus, right? <laughs> do I have a favorite scene? I do have a favorite scene, although Anthony Santiago Spawny did the best that he could to ruin it for me. Ruin the memory of it just because of his CGI chin thing. But I guess my, my favorite, like we're doing spoiler alerts. So my favorite scene from the film was when they brought Soup's back and he fucking, you know, kind of had fought everybody it would have been nice if there was more of it but it was nice to see soups really fuck some shit up and uh you know i really feel like his his power set was kind of like on fucking point in this movie and that fucking was really really cool um it seemed like he could have taken steppenwolf on all by himself at the end that's how powerful superman was in this movie he was just fucking great um would have liked a little bit more of him you know, kind of like getting his shit together when he came back. Um, maybe even a black suit healing kind of thing, you know what I mean? Whatever, you know. <laughs> you know, whatever. So, yeah, definitely, I mean, don't get me wrong. If I start going down the road of starting to bitch about this movie, then, I, I mean, I, I could probably talk for a while. But I really tried to enjoy it. <clears throat> ben Affleck, Batman. Uh... There were points in this movie where, like, where it kind of felt like he phoned this whole thing in. So, you know, I wasn't super impressed with uh, Ben Affleck as uh, Bruce Wayne or Batman in this film. So, there were times when Cyborg was speaking and I couldn't fucking tell whether or not it was, you know, Ben Affleck or, Cy or Cyborg talking and it kind of threw me off a little bit, but whatever. Um... Enjoyed the scenes on uh, Themyscira. I thought that was good. There was a lot of CGI that was kind of like, okay. But yeah, like Spawny said, with the whole freaking mustache thing, completely ruined everything about, like, you. it's like, what, I think Durf said it when he, he said, you can't unsee it. You just can't. Like, you know, all I see now is that close up. And, and for me, for some reason, his chin just looked bigger so did his teeth and all. i remember during the scene i wasn't thinking I, I i wasn't even thinking about the mustache i kept on thinking what's going on with this uh what's going on with this dude's teeth like it's just like a weird close-up going on and they had to do a close-up right <laughs> my dear lord but um dude what the fuck you're superman shave your fucking mustache but uh i don't know what else to say about the movie uh it was you know let me all right, so I put I gave it a seven because I was you know like I said I was pleasantly surprised, but um, pleasantly surprised. I would say I was surprised about the film. I thought it was decent. I thought it was enjoyable. I'll watch it again. Am I gonna go this weekend? No, probably not. Somebody asked me if I liked it as much as Thor, and I said, well, you know, this movie <laughs> didn't have Searcher, so no, <laughs> you know, I didn't enjoy it as much as Thor. You know? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that's that's all I can say about that. I don't even know what to say. But anyway, let's go on to something. Real quick, I wanted to say, like, okay, so, yes, the expectations for this movie were set really, really, really low. And that's the, what we do. We grade DC on a fucking curve. <laughs> and I was feeling pretty good about it <clears throat> until my, my friend Paco texted me last night. He's like, did you like Justice League? And I was like, yeah. And uh, he was like, well, did you like it more than Thor? And I was like, well, no, come on now, dude. I mean, of course I didn't freaking, you know, like it more than Thor. And he was just like, well, you know... He's like, not for nothing, they have all the fucking heroes in DC. They have the rights to everything. So this movie should have been better than Thor. And, you know, I, I can't argue with that logic. So what is wrong with the DCU? What is wrong with the DCEU? What is it? Is it the Detective Comics Entertainment Universe? Is that the DC? Why can't they just say DCCU or the Cinematic Universe? Like, well, we got to be, you know, we got to be different, huh? But uh, anyway... I only have two things to say about that. I mean, actually, I have several things to say about it, but I really, truly believe that the uh, WBDC, DCEU, whatever the fuck you want to call it, is made by execs for fans, and Marvel is made by fans for fans, you know? Not that they're not execs over there at Marvel or anything like that, but if I had to compare the two, I think that's the biggest difference, and the point being that I would, like, that, that the one thing that I always remember that sticks out in my head is when uh, James Gunn was making the first Guardians of the Galaxy and him and Kevin Feige were arguing about the thrusters on, on the throne of Thanos. 
and I was, and I, and I remember thinking to myself, my God, wow. Like, dude, dude gives a shit. Like, Kevin Feige's not just sitting up in his office going, yeah, just make us money. I don't care. Just make it cool. Fuck it. Just make it cool, which is exactly what I think um, the execs of DC, DC are doing. They're just like, yeah, just dude, make it cool. Make us money. And No, Kevin Feige's going to argue about thrusters on a chair. All right. I'm not saying that details aren't important, but that's a pretty small thing. But to, to to like sit there and argue about it just shows like you know from top to bottom they have passion over these characters. They have passion over these comics, and that's what's sorely lacking over at, at, at WBDC. I mean, they need somebody in charge who absolutely gives a shit about every single one of these characters. Once that happens, that trickle-down effect will go into every single one of their movies. They care more about making a great product over at Marvel than they do about how much money it's going to make. And whereas I truly believe over at WBDC that uh, they're, they're just thinking, what's, what, what can we do to make money? And the reason that these films are so, like, just there for us, and you know, n n none of them push over to that awesome section and you know 8.59 you know nine and a half freaking score out of 10 is because uh, you know they just they don't care as much they just don't care as much yeah, so it comes down to caring i mean it's like if it's like if you're trying to write a song for five fucking million people to love chances are everybody there's going to be a you know, the majority of people are going to hate that shit. But if you try to write a song that you love and that this is something that, that you care about and something that you put in it, in, in respect, people, I think, will recognize that and see that, you know, oh, okay, there it is. You may not, you may not please five million people, but you will please somebody just because they'll recognize the fact that you cared about it, uh, cared about a thing, you know what I mean? So... I think WB still has to prove to me that they actually care about their products. They still they haven't done that yet. So that's all I got to say about that. Um, other, but you know what? But, but, but what I do mostly though is uh, I escape goat Ben Affleck. Escape goat, escape goat, party time, excellent. No, Ghosty, you're never going to live this down. I promise you. <laughs> Love you all. Do something good for yourself. Do something good for somebody else.